Hey guys, we got some news here regarding Supergirl, Arrow, and Legend of Tomorrow. Uh, the big one is about Supergirl that it might, it's in danger of being uh, cancelled and replaced with a Superman show. So I think this is interesting. It's coming from We Got This Covered. Um, they're also reporting it. They also re-reported it on uh, Hollywood uh, Reporter and uh, Heroic Hollywood. Uh, I mean, and uh, so I think it's really interesting to see as to where, where things are going to go with this. They're calling it a rumor. So uh, this site is not calling it a rumor. I'm going to call it a rumor just because I'm not sure about this site. I really, I've seen it here and there, but I'm not really sure about the credibility. So I'm going to call it a rumor. Um, but first off, we got to know that uh, you know, that all the shows have been you know, renewed. So Supergirl is going to get a fifth season. Um, you know, every Arrow is getting a season eight. Everything's getting a new season from what they're coming on. They're getting an extra season next year, and they're also going to be doing the Crisis on Infinite Earth. So that, that'll be really interesting to see as to where things kind of go with all that. So they talk about it here. And the Arrowverse shows are all thriving. They've all been renewed. Um, however, sources tell them that the next run will wrap up the shape of the DC universe on TV and could be very different. Uh, for starters, the show may be in danger. Would be uh, the unlucky show would be Supergirl over due to ratings and stuff. So I think this is interesting. Um, and, I mean, we'll have to wait and see as to where things go with that. And said that this girl, girl of Steel has been, you know, figured of stuff and just not not really happy with their audience ratings for the show and. Um, now, they don't say that their sources say anything about a Superman show. They say it about the Superman show. They're speculating that if this show gets, uh, their source is only telling them about the Supergirl show potentially getting canceled after the next season, uh, that, that when, the one we currently have, so after season five. So who knows? It could be interesting. And then they speculate that maybe a Superman show might take the place with uh, Tyler Hecklin taking, uh, Tyler Hecklin and Elizabeth. Tucci playing Lois and Clark and stuff. So I think that could be something interesting to see. Um, I'm not sure if you do a TV a spinoff show, cancel Supergirl and Melissa Benoist, do a Tyler Hecklin show, just because he's been somewhat... I mean, he's only been in a few a handful of episodes, less than 10 episodes entirely. Um, so if you just, like, he's, and every time he's in there, uh, they've had established a, a lot in this show that, you know, Supergirl is stronger than Superman. So I think it could be interesting to see as to where things go with that. But you'd have to just bring Supergirl onto that show. So I think it could be something interesting to see as to where things go with this. And I don't think uh, canceling them and replacing with a Superman show would really, would really work just because I don't know if they'd even want to do that. Usually they tend to save Superman for the big blockbuster movies and stuff and but with the things with Harry Cavill all up in the air and they you know not doing a Superman movie uh, and any time they could do a Superman show but then as soon as they decide to do a Superman movie they got to just they, it would cancel it right away so I think that's just kind of um who knows it's very different I mean they had Smallville but he was never really in the he was never flying and he was never in the tights so it's a very different Superman show than you know the stuff so if Brandon Ralph's his Superman returns if that had you know been successful and continued on a franchise they could have had you know multiple movies coming out of that throughout the run of Smallville and it's not a problem because he's Superman and he's Clark Kent uh you know on the TV show where here having two Supermans wouldn't really work so um but they did do it with a Flash, so we'll have to wait and see. But he ever had a solo Flash movie yet with uh, Ezra Miller. So we'll have to wait and see as to where things go with this. I think this is quite interesting. Um, they also talk up here, but at the end, that um, you've also been told that uh, Arrow and Ledger of Tomorrow could be uh, could be both be if closing following their eighth and fifth season. So I think this could be interesting. So we'll have to wait and see as to where things go. It all depends on what happens in Infinite Crisis, especially for Supergirl. If Infinite Crisis, I think, changes things up completely for the show. Um, and maybe uh, maybe we get Superman joining the show a little bit more often. You know, maybe they could do a Superman and, 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 and Supergirl show um, where they're together and they're just kind of living in the same city, teaming up all the time. I think that could be something really interesting to see since they set the, both of these characters up. I just wouldn't really want to see Super uh, Melissa Benoist as Supergirl just kind of go away and then here's uh, Tyler Hecklin and Superman full time. If we had uh, a show where it's split at 50 50 between both of their storylines, and sometimes we have, you know, a full episode just about Superman, full episode about Supergirl, and back and forth and bouncing, and never having one of them being the main character, they're both sharing the role of main character could be something interesting to see as to where things go. But again, like I said, it all depends on how things go with this uh, crisis on Infinite Earth, because in my opinion, if they do this pro correctly in the end of Infinite Crisis, 
um, in Crisis with Supergirl's uh, National City and her stuff being part of the same Earth One and no longer being on her separate Earth and having to kind of portal over to, to, to cross over, right? Um, I think that could open up for easier storytellings and then you could have supporting cast members from Supergirl's show bouncing over to Flash, Arrow, Ledger, Tomorrow and all the things like that and uh, supporting cast members from all those other shows jo also joining into her show and also mixing in with the Bat Batgirl, uh, Batwoman show starring Ruby Rose. So that'll be interesting to see as to where things go with all that. Um, it'll be interesting to see as to how things kind of change that up. I think that could really open that up. And because of that, it would make Supergirl feel a little bit more like required uh, watching for the crossovers. Because right now, you could be watching Flash, Arrow, and maybe Ledger tomorrow, but mostly Flash and Arrow. And then when the crossovers go, you just go watch the one episode of Supergirl when you need to and then come back and that's it, right? Um, there's no real reason to watch all of it, right? I mean, Flash and Arrow, they're, so, they're somewhat kind of connected to the point where, you know, you kind of, it's its nice to kind of watch, it's, uh, it's helpful to watch both because you have things like, uh, like, like uh, you have things that affect there, like John Diggle's son uh, had a daughter, and now he has a son because of Flashpoint, right? So things like that uh, are really interesting, but really nice connected connective connectivity right here and there and supporting cast members go back and forth very often um and things like that but not happening with supergirl because she's on a different earth so i think it could be interesting to see as to where things go and if that could help um you know promote the show if the character you know if james olsen goes over on arrow or flash and stuff like that that would remind people of or on either show to watch that other show and you know be maybe get them interested in into that character um or something like that it could be some a different way of playing with things so i think it's going to be just to see as to where things go i'm gonna have a link to it in the description if you want to read this full article to see what what they say i'm going to say it's a rumor um but other articles other sites are reporting on this too so uh, we'll have to wait and see they're calling it a rumor so we'll have to wait and see as to where things go with this in the comments below so we'll, we'll let me know what you think about this um and they say here at the end it would end up being just flash and uh and and uh, batwoman that would be remaining um with maybe a superman show um, going into it so i think that could be something interesting especially with the superman show again is just what they're saying about it it's not really it doesn't sound like it's coming from the superman the idea of a superman show doesn't really sound like it's coming from their source it's just their speculation um so we'll have to wait and see as to where things kind of go um with that but uh yeah let me know what you think guys about all this in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Subscribing. Sometimes subscribing. is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace. It's over.